All right, guys, welcome to the uh, channel of Silence Fitness, Silence Clothing, uh, the brand Silence itself. Um, I'm assuming if you're here watching this uh, video right now, you follow me on Silence Fitness, our Instagram, and I'm assuming you are here to listen about what the title says, how I started my business, or how I started a brand, um, and what steps I took to develop something that people are now connecting to on a daily basis and are reaching out to for uh, uh, with, with questions, um, receiving answers, um, tips on how to start a business or tips on fitness in general. This is a uh, fitness based brand um, and see how I'm using the word brand instead of company. Um, so I'm just going to go straight from the beginning to currently where I am now. Um, this brand, this company was started on May 17th of 2016. I was in my fourth semester, I believe, of, uh, I was in my sixth semester of university, and I was in a class called Business Law. Now in this class, we were, um, it was Business Law. We were learning about the law of business and certain things that you gotta do. Uh, different types of businesses. It was a very basic course. Um, I was doing well in it for most of the test, and on the last test, I flunked it. I got like a 62, 63%, and I was pretty pissed off. And this is where the company took off, or at least where the idea clicked in my head. And you gotta remember, before this, I started a few companies, I, I just like a little things with me and my buddy. I did like a, another clothing line, which it was called Elite Fitness Labs. Uh, we had a um, a YouTube channel. It got like 250 followers, or subscribers, um, but that kinda just stopped. I've done like gaming back in the day. I did a bunch of gaming stuff. Um, just a bunch of tiny things um, so I, I, I go back to my apartment and I'm all pissed off and I, this word just keeps on cycling through my head and through my head silence and I, I hop on Instagram I look up silence uh, there's a there's not really a company called silence fitness and I kind of had a light bulb go off my head um, I was determined to grow a company called silence fitness and that's what happened. I, I got on my laptop. I remember this distinctly. Um, it was it was major for me, and up until now, it's been it's been a journey. But I remember distinctly what I was eating. I, I was eating four rice cakes with peanut butter. I was drinking a protein shake, and I was also eating a Halo Top. Just so random. But I remember sitting at my table with my laptop, and I googled how to make a website. Made a website didn't have any product on it obviously because I, I came up with the idea that day and the reason why I'm mentioning mentioning this is because I get a lot of questions on how to start a business or what steps did I take to start a business or when did I know it was the right move to start a business and the, the, the question the, the, the answer to all that is you don't know you never will know the only way that you can know if your business is successful is if you start it um, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, things I didn't know. There's a lot of things that I should have, I shouldn't have done. Um, but that's part of the process. The part of the process of growing a business is to just start it and grow. Um, what, what helped me a lot, the number one thing that helped me a lot is when I started the business, I, I wasn't in it to make a dollar for at least five years, which sounds ridiculous um profit a dollar a huge difference I, I i i have enough money now where i could make money but i'm investing it back into the company and i don't want to take a dollar for myself for at least five years and if it takes off you know what maybe i might take a dollar here and there but i think with that mindset knowing that i was going to lose money for at least a year make money after a year but not take money from my pockets for a while i think that's or actually I know that's what allowed the company to grow to um, 100 online sales, a bunch of cash sales, a bunch of stuff. And I, I think that that 
is what a lot of people I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. I think that's where a lot of people make a mistake. They fail to recognize that when you start a business, no matter how popular you are, no matter what social media following you have, you aren't gonna automatically just take off and just make a dollar. I had no social media following, so I had it harder. Um, a lot of people, like uh, Christian Guzman, he had a huge following from Gymshark and just from his own personal brand took that and the alpha leak grew that way if you're gonna do bootstrapped no loans no investments nothing it's gonna take a long time but that's the part that you have to enjoy you have to enjoy the constant grind and the constant uh, daily struggle it's not easy it's it's hard um, that's just getting off tangent a little bit that's just a little bit about the business side um, if you guys ever want me to get into like numbers and all that, I, I can do that if you want to, or how I structure my business, um, or how it's not structured. Um, but yeah, that day I was I made a website, and then about a month went by. I made a Twitter handle, um, I made an Instagram handle, and I made a YouTube channel a few months down the road. As you can see, I have a few videos on this this channel. But uh, Instagram really took off. Right now I'm about at 4,600 followers. And that's taken, you know, May to now. What's that, nine months? Or that's like seven months. And it's it's been a struggle. It's been hard, but it's, it's constantly worth it. So my first batch of shirts, which uh, <laughs> I got them off of Custom Ink. I ordered 15 shirts. 15 shirts for about $325. No money was made. Didn't expect money. And th this is this is very important. Pause this, replay it as many times as you possibly can. That was a loss of money. That was an investment for viewers and followers. Let me repeat that. That was a loss of money, investment for viewers and followers, and build a fan base. Greatest move I ever made. Nice shirts. Great tripod material. It wasn't these shirts. If you're an OG follower, you remember what shirts they were. Um, but those shirts grew my Instagram page about 1,500 followers. Didn't make a dollar. I sold like one or two or three or four. But it was those shirts that taught me a lot how to sell, how to talk to people. Because I did sell a few. Out of 15, I sold about like I sold about eight, and that taught me how to like give a handshake to people that taught me how to get out of my comfort zone and to accept money from people and that's the that's probably the hardest thing I've had to learn is to accept money from people uh, even when it's like online I make an online sale it's still hard for me to take your money because I feel the products great but there's just something about it because as a college student or as somebody who isn't well off to do I understand how hard it is to make a dollar from your job or whatever else you have because we all live lives or we all have lives and we all have situations that we need money for and I think that was the hardest part so I, I got over that I started realizing I'm providing you with a product that's helping you clothes can help a lot of people clothes can help you with confidence can help you with confidence you know make you succeed in many things get over bullies that are bullying you it can make you Go get that interview that you've always wanted to. It can make you work out if you're wearing a certain type of outfit that makes you feel a certain type of way, certain type of way. So I, I realized I was providing a solution to an is issue, and I was okay with accepting money. So that leads me to, so I have this website now, started this handle, posting on the handles for Snapchat, or not Snapchat, uh, Instagram, Twitter, um, have a YouTube, have them start posting, for about two months in about July I started posting on YouTube um, so I ordered 300 of these shirts I have a blue and a gray I sold a decent amount of them um, you formulate up in your head it's called like I forget the name of it but I remember right writing writing uh, numbers out in accounting class and I was like holy crap this is gonna take off you know I'm gonna have this 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 is this and I'm gonna be able to do this and this and this I'm gonna have these and these and these by this month this month D it doesn't happen it I don't if, if it's happened to you let me know but it just doesn't happen that way uh, so I ordered these shirts um, 
have to find a manufacturer. That's the hardest thing to do. I don't know if you've ever heard the uh, the quote, um, the clothing industry is underground, and that's because it is. You can Google right now, local manufacturers, you'll find like screen printers, but it'd be like 20 bucks a shirt. You sell a shirt for $2, you do the math. We're a business, we're here to make money. You're not gonna be able to do anything, you're not gonna provide any f future products at a $2 profit margin. So once you find a manufacturer, um, you gotta build a relationship with them. Uh, you have to um, provide concrete ideas of what you want. These shirts are exactly what I want, it's exact material, super comfortable, wear it in the gym, wear it to bed. These shirts come in, I ordered 300. Within the first month, I sold like 20. 20, nothing. Selling them for 23 bucks. There, if you want to check them out now, if you go to the website, uh, www.silencefitness.com, they're still up there. We're still selling them. We're selling a lot. Um, up to this point, 50% inventory is gone. We're sold out a large, um, more, more than 50% inventory, up around 70% inventory is gone. Um, we sold all our largest. So they're selling now. Business is growing. Obviously, we're selling them now with the holidays. But it was that initial, it was a gut punch. You know, I've just spent so and so amount of money on these shirts. I made back 5% of my my money, which was a gut punch. But it was fine. It was what I, it's not what I expected, but I wasn't shocked. So I'm working full time with this other job. And I'm bootstrapped, haven't taken a loan from the bank, haven't asked my mom for money, haven't asked anybody for money. This is completely just with savings and <laughs> it's with all my money, all my money. I'm, I'm stressing that all my money was put into this business, this this brand. And um, so I had these sweatshirt ideas, bouncing around with a bunch of things, long sleeve sweatshirts, joggers. And I'm thinking, well, coming up, this was about January, September, September comes and I have these paid for these sweatshirts in July 50% deposit 50% later when they ship so I paid for them which was extremely hard saving all my money I made from work working at a restaurant save all my tips all my paychecks and it was one of the things where I put down my 50% deposit bank account goes down to like a hundred bucks and I got to pay like another I got to pay a lot more money that I didn't have but I but my manufacturer told me like a month and there's a bunch of delays, delay, delay. I can't control it. They can't really control it. It was more like the government kind of thing. So what ended up happening is they came September, October. They came in October. They came in October and it was it was kind of a, it was a gut punch again because I was like, this is a month late. You know, I had this, I wanted to set this up. By January, I wanted this. And then by March, I wanted this because I expected these sweatshirts to sell. They did sell, they sell super, they sold super, super well. And um, this is where I reached out to the online coach. Online coach, Ray Magarito. He lives out in Temecula, California. I've been following him for about five years now. One of his OG subscribers, I reached out to him, hey brother, you know, I'm starting up this company, you know, would you want to wear it, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, he hooked it up. Business blew up literally overnight. And I can't thank, I can't thank him enough for what he's done. Cameron, Raymond, all those guys out there. Um, I can't thank you guys enough, but that was kind of like the, of the business. And a lot of people call that luck or whatever, but it was a situation that I went after and I was lucky enough to get the situation. If I didn't get that help, I still would be doing the business though. That's the thing, that's the mindset you gotta have is, you, the only way a business fails is if you stop a business or you get sued by somebody or the government shuts your ass down. There's many ways, but as long as you don't stop working, your business will eventually succeed. Um, so that was, that was basically the startup of the business. Uh, marketed it through Instagram. Um, oh yeah, uh, when I sold these shirts and I sold like 20 or 15 of them within the first month, I was like, I was really pissed. So I started um, literally going up to gyms, local gyms near my house. I was like, hey man, or hey, can I talk directly to the manager I was like this is serious like this is what I did it was it's like the equivalent of knocking on doors and asking if you can rate the leaves um I was like can I set up shop here and sell shirts at 10 different gyms one said yes sold shirts there 
sold about 20, 30 shirts. So it was, it was great. Got my name out, business cards, everything. Um, one said yes, but you can't sell here. But you, I don't want to say the name of the gym because I don't want to get them in trouble. But you can't sell here. But I, I gave up. I spent two hours giving. I had the flu too. I had the flu, and I was, I was um, giving out business cards. I was giving out a lot of, a lot of free stuff. Couldn't give out shirts. But that got me about five online orders the next week, next two weeks, and then another gym just fell through. They said yes, but they, they never, never, <laughs> never did anything. That was a gut punch too, because. Um, if you're gonna start a business, no one cares about your business as much as you do. So you gotta convince people to care about your business. But that's essentially it. That and that now we're here. Now we're at 4,500 followers, helping a lot of people, starting to grow brands, starting to grow this and that, um, reaching out to people for tips, business, whatever, relationships, workouts, whatever it is. But and that was due to me keep on. I just kept on working, and plus you, my followers watching this helped me more than you could imagine. But um, that's about it. I want to do a video a week. Um, comment in the section, in the comment section below, put um, just ideas and topics that you want me to discuss. Um, but yeah, guys, it's Silence Fitness. Michael, uh, thank you so much for listening. Make sure you drop it a like, share it on all social medias, and uh, comment if you haven't. Thank you, guys, and girls.